última y el río se llevará todo. Omar. Ajá. Uh -huh. They've been working all night. And isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. It's on Shit. No. Now fuck off and let me watch the damn game. What is that? Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. Everything all right? No. It's all terrible, as usual. These pillagers come to town, hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And then they run off with them and profit. We are all desperate here. There's no work since poor Veneer pulled out. We're sitting ducks. And I imagine the storm hasn't helped matters. <laughs> What little we had is gone or underwater. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. I don't know what good it'll do. Did I catch your name? Lara. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to Omar, the executive lead tormentor in charge of theft and pillaging, he's in there. Thanks. Be careful. He doesn't like to be challenged. Piss him off, you who are you? Looking for work? Um... Well, you're out of luck. We have enough people. Marco's in charge of HR now anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, thank you. Do you know where he is? Where else? The bar. Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. I know it sounds like it. Find someone to replace you. Oh, what? Those sites are dangerous, Marco. Anything can happen. I'm looking for Marco. Why? For what? I just want to talk to him. He doesn't want any trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. Work? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you're Marco? Tell me Omar didn't send you here to mess with me. If any of those animals hurts my son, I'll... Marco, I'm not with Omar. Believe me. What's this about your son? I blew out my knee, so Omar took Pablo to replace me at the dig site. Said I was HR now and that it was my job to find a replacement. Otherwise... Otherwise, he'd keep working your son. Yeah. I'm worried he's just gonna keep Pablo up there, even if I bring him someone. Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. You? Really? You, you do that? We wouldn't want to disappoint the boss, would we? Thank you. If you see Pablo, please tell him I'm here. Is that? Uh, oh my God! Please help me. Are you okay? You're coming after me. Are you Pablo? Yes. It's okay. Your father sent me. He's at Abby's. Go meet him there. I'll take care of these guys. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Get out of here. That doesn't sound good. Because I'm pretty fucking sure no one called for it. Get back to work. I'm sorry. I don't know what else you want from me. I can't motivate people into slave labor. Oh, I think there's a way you can motivate them. Oh, shit. What the hell got into him? He used to bring us ten people a week. You ask me, it's that brother of his. Always unionization this and justice that. Wow, wow, wow. Are the fines here even worth it? They are on the black market. True. Almost 100% markup. Or whatever we get for them. Right. Need to get back to the village. Running toward Abyss. Good, I hope he's okay. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Es que no me ve, señora? ¿Cuál es la prisa? Si ya no va. Pablo told me what you did. I... I don't know what to say, apart from thank you. Of course. You know, many years ago, when my grandfather was still a boy, men came here and tried to cut down the wilderness around the village. Everyone was afraid to stand up to them, except my grandfather. A 15-year-old boy with an empty gun stood on the edge of the village and held back machines and men twice his size. Sometimes the courage of one person can outweigh the cowardice of dozens. I still have the gun he used to hold them back. I'd like you to have it, as a symbol of courage and my gratitude. Don't you want to give that to Pablo? My boy wants to be a doctor, like his mother. Say, what's your name anyway? Lara. I'll have a new story to tell now, Lara. Thanks again. <laughs> 